Hey guys, this is a simple and fun video to learn the basics of operating systems. Have you ever thought what an operating system really is? What power do they hold that lets them run billions of devices worldwide? Well, let's find out. So let's dig right in. An operating system is a computer program that acts as an interface between the user and the computer hardware. So what is this computer program? A computer program is nothing but a bunch of lines of code. This code helps us make use of the hardware. Okay, so with the definition nailed down, let's look at the computer system structure. So the computer structure basically consists of four components. The first component we have is the hardware. That is nothing but the physical parts of a computer comprises the hardware. They provide the basic computing resources such as the CPU, the memory, and the input-output devices. So, the next thing that comes on top of the hardware is the operating system. Imagine operating system as a person that acts as a translator between the hardware and the user. The user's requests are realized by the operating system by making use of the hardware and respond back with the required results. It is a virtual entity which cannot be felt. Next thing that comes on top of the operating system is the application program. What are application programs? These are nothing but the programs that provide services to the users. Some of the application programs that we use in our daily lives include the word processors, the compilers, the web browsers, the video games, and the database systems. These programs help us concentrate on the bigger picture that is our problem in hand rather than on the intricate details of the computer. So the fourth component of our computer system are the users. Users are the people, machine, and other computers that interact with the computer systems. So with this done, let's have a quick recap. The components of our computer system are computer hardware at the base level, then the operating system that sits on top of it, then the system and application programs that run on the operating system, and finally, the end users that make use of these application programs. Well, that was a lot of information and we need to process it, just like the processor is in our computer. So, to continue the journey, click on the next video. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. Keep watching and master the operating systems. Created using Powtoon.